can help you out. But in regards to um, folks with 580 or greater credit scores, the 3.5% down payment will still be in place. What may be impacted is cash to settlement due to another change FHA has forthcoming, which is the seller concession. Right now that's 6%. That okay. can be used, which on a 325 purchase, um, we're looking at $19,500 that the seller can contribute towards the seller's closing costs, prepaids, and even assistance in buying down some points, et cetera. That will be reduced from the $19,500 to $9,750. And how that will impact purchasers above 580 credit scores, um, fortunately in Montgomery County with a 3.5% down payment, if you get a loan with zero points, um, you're not looking at a huge increase in cash out of pocket, but it will result in uh, probably close to about $600 more needed, um, where it will really impact borrowers with the reduction in seller concessions is if those borrowers need the full 6% seller concession to assist in buying down the interest rate to get lower ratios to actually qualify for the loan. They're not going to have that additional amount of funds to buy those rates down, which, once again, that could put them out of the purchasing arena. Or you may have to uh, purchase or focus on a lower sales price property. Okay, so the two things that you mentioned just to review are the, the down payment requirements uh, that really affect the folks with uh, credit scores below 580 and the change to uh, the seller concessions. Uh, which you had mentioned changed from uh, 6% uh, allowable cash back from the seller at settlement to uh, 3.5%. It's actually 3%. Oh, it's actually 3%. Okay. 3%. And then the final change, um, with FHA, you have what's called an upfront mortgage insurance premium, which is an amount of money that uh, it's right now 1.75% of your loan amount. It can actually be financed on your mortgage. Um, that amount will increase from the 1.75% to 2.25%. Um, the upfront mortgage insurance premium is insurance really to protect the lender against possible default or foreclosure. Um, that amount, once again, will increase a half a percent. That is something that will still be allowed to, to that you can finance in your mortgage. Um, what it will result in, just to kind of keep numbers simple, if you're looking at a 325 sales price, uh, because you're going to have to finance an additional half a percent on that loan, uh, you're looking at about a, a 9 to $15 payment increase on a monthly basis. So um, it's not huge, but there's definitely an impact. You're borrowing more money. You're also seeing a slight payment increase, which you know may end up resulting in restricting some borrowers on their sales price range. Okay, so although the the increase, it sounds pretty substantial whenever I'm reading about this in the Washington Post or online. Uh, you know, 1.75% upfront mortgage insurance change to 225 But uh, you had mentioned you can finance that. So that, uh, that payment difference is spread over the term of the loan for 30 years, typically, in most cases. And that equates to about 9 That's correct. And to kind of um, elaborate a little bit more on the upfront mortgage insurance, um, that is, you're right, that is something that will be financed over the life of the loan. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, that doesn't sound as dramatic as um, maybe what I, some of us had, had been led to believe initially. So that, that doesn't sound too bad, $9 more a month. Um, the seller concessions, uh, that does sound like a, a hit, although in my experiences, I think most of the settlement costs um, for FHA loans uh, range from about 3 to 4%. So you can still cover most of those settlement costs even with the 3% cap on that. So that may not be as dramatic as what some folks are thinking it is. That's correct. On a um, FHA purchase in Montgomery County for a party that is not a first-time home buyer, um, you're looking at an average concession needed to cover your closing costs and prepaid monies to be right around 3.25%. Okay. For those parties that are first-time home buyers, you're looking at about 3%. So um, there will be a lot of people that are not impacted by this decrease of 6 to 3% seller concessions, where you will have parties impacted 
will be those people that need the additional or full 6% in order to get a reduction in the interest rate due to buying um, points, which is prepaid interest, which will ultimately reduce your monthly payment and allow you to qualify and stay within FHA ratio guidelines. That's, that's where people will be impacted.